We scientists have waited a 100 years since 1916 for this. Photograph the James Webb Space Telescope, currently the most powerful observatory ever made, has just broadcast an image back to Earth that has startled the entire scientific community. This stunning new image, acquired by Webb state-of-the-art equipment, depicts a celestial event unlike anything we have experienced before, challenging our existing understanding of the universe. As scientists struggle to settle for its significance, questions arise, are we alone in the universe? What mysteries does this image hold, and what does it portend for the future of humanity? Join us as we investigate the mysteries of this amazing image brought to Earth by the JWST, possibly the greatest scientific revelation of our time. The James Webb Telescope has been a source of excitement for scientists and astronomers since its inception. Despite being only in its third year of operation, it has already observed numerous parts of our huge universe, finding new phenomena. Since reaching its cosmic goal, its infrared observatory has revealed stunning vistas of the cosmos. As the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, academics eagerly awaited the first scientific photos taken by the telescope. However, its new image has left the scientific community in shock and silence. This jaw-dropping finding was made by the JWST after it pointed its equipment towards the famed Pillars of Creation located around 7,000 light-years away in the constellation surface. What it has unearthed in this strange place has subsequently left scientists Austra. The Pillars of Creation are part of the Eagle Nebula, enormous clouds of gas and dust initially seen by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995. However, the James Webb Telescope's fresh snapshot revealed even more amazing information. Stars previously undetected in the Hubble photograph gleamed in the new view, some having created just a few hundred thousand years ago. This discovery constituted an important scientific breakthrough. Yet, as scientists gazed at these astonishing finds, a notion struck their minds, what if these buildings were genuinely made by intelligent extraterrestrial beings? Could they be alien landmarks? The idea of such a disclosure sent shivers down their spines. But the JWST wasn't about to rest on its laurels just yet. In another intriguing image, the James Webb Space Telescope focused its attention to Pandora's Cluster, a region of space with a complex history named after the fabled figure from Greek mythology, Pandora. Known for her inquisitiveness, she is supposed to have opened a container that let all the horrors and sorrows into the Earth. However, Webb's study of Pandora's Cluster did not unleash any evils. Instead, it concentrated on a specific patch of space, following a theory presented by Albert Einstein in 1915, resulting in a magnificent sight that astounded experts. This new photograph of Pandora's cluster, previously known as AL-2744, showed undiscovered characteristics in the region. While the Hubble Area Telescope had only investigated the central core of this area, the James Webb Telescope's infrared instruments discovered a plethora of buried secrets waiting to be unraveled. The team of scientists working on the JWST rapidly understood that they were on an unprecedented observing mission. So, using Webb's big telescopes, near-infrared spectrograph, and near-infrared camera, they undertook a series of rigorous observations as part of the ultra-deep near-speak near-cam observations for the Epoch of Reionization program. To obtain a thorough perspective of Pandora's cluster, the researchers employed the JWST in taking four snapshots of the area and carefully stitched them together, resulting in a beautiful panoramic image. This stunning photograph displayed an astonishing 50,000 sources radiating infrared light, showing the actual character of Pandora's cluster, located around 3.5 billion light-years away. This panoramic photograph offers a deep and expansive perspective that could potentially transform our understanding of galactic evolution. Embedded within this intriguing sight was a dazzling foreground star from our own Milky Way. The star revealed distinctive diffraction spikes, a stunning pattern formed by the James Webb Telescope itself. Within this mesmerizing image, clusters of dazzling white light shimmered, surrounded by an ethereal haze. These were the distant galaxies of Pandora's cluster, much farther away than the foreground star. While our extremely advanced equipment played a significant role in capturing this spectacular celestial location, astronomers also relied on a natural phenomena postulated by Albert Einstein in his seminal 1915 study on general relativity. Albert Einstein's theory of gravity, known as general relativity, played a significant part in deciphering the riddles of the observed cluster of clusters. But this was only just the beginning. Beyond the thrilling discovery, the James Webb Telescope found another intriguing event that very quickly contradicted every scientific explanation scientists could think of. It discovered yet another amazing image that clearly displayed a series of mysterious and concentric rings encircling a distant star. Since this image landed on Earth, scientists from every corner of the world have been left bewildered. 
This perplexing photograph was uploaded on Twitter by a citizen scientist named Judy Schmidt, instantly creating a rush of comments and astonishment within the online community. The featured star, called as WR140, stood surrounded by regular ripple-like circles that ultimately vanished into the cosmic abyss. However, what captured the most interest in the photograph was the fact that the circles did not exist in perfect roundness. Instead, they were rather square-like, prompting ideas and speculations about probable alien origins. Like Schmidt, physicists and astronomers all around the world quickly found themselves contemplating the remarkable shape and regularity of the rings. Before long, another space specialist, Mark M., who also happens to be an interdisciplinary scientist in the JWST Science Working Group and a science advisor to the European Space Agency, referred to the feature as bonkers in a Twitter thread. Further examination revealed that the six-pointed blue structure was an artifact coming from optical diffraction induced by the brilliant star WR140. Additionally, a sequence of shells might be detected around this star by Webb's mirror imaging. These shells, which appeared as red curved and boxy formations, took astronomers by surprise. Typically, young stars glow brightly in a dazzling blue tint. However, as stars age, they undergo modifications and produce a redder glow as they exhaust their fuel and cool down. The deep fields discovered by Webb exhibited reddish specks that were 50 times as massive than galaxies previously known. Surprisingly, these galaxies were thought to be as huge as our own Milky Way when the universe was only 3% of its current age. Leia, one of the astronomers analyzing these findings, expressed her amazement at the discovery. In her opinion, these huge galaxies defied conventional beliefs about cosmology, as they emerged swiftly after the Big Bang. But before fully revising the ideas, astronomers needed to guarantee that the red specks they witnessed were truly galaxies and not something else entirely. Considering alternate theories, Leia theorized that stars in the early universe would radiate light in unique ways due to the lack of heavy components. Incorporating these features into their models could transform our understanding of star formation in the early universe. These ideas have tremendously thrilled astronomers, as they might reveal fresh insights into how stars are born. The photos were taken using Webb's near-infrared sensor as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Program. Astronomers hope to concentrate the telescope's mirror on these galaxies again in the near future, but this time it'll be to acquire light spectra. The specialists at NASA believe that the spectra would assist reveal the light source's chemical composition and physical attributes. It's also envisaged that these spectra would play a key part in identifying the precise distances to objects in space, which in turn will reveal essential information about their identities. But here's what's even more fascinating. Just over six months following the release of the initial observations from the Webb telescope, scientists found themselves pushed to alter their hypotheses about the early cosmos. As it turned out, the JWST was actually on the edge of another amazing discovery. Peering farther into the image, scientists spotted what looked to be a spinning wormhole amid a captivating phantom galaxy. This fresh photograph revealed the intriguing brilliance of the phantom galaxy, commonly known as NGC 628 or M74. Renowned astronomer Judy Schmidt skillfully produced this frightening image using Webb's mid-infrared instrument stationed almost a million miles distant from Earth. The zoomed image focuses attention to the delicate dust lanes inside the galaxy, which have earned it the nickname the perfect spiral due to its extraordinary symmetry. However, the main scientific intrigue lies in the presence of an intermediate mass black hole believed to be nestled at the heart of the celestial wonder. However, this galaxy has been the subject of professional imaging in the past, notably by prestigious space observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Widefield Infrared Survey Explorer. But Webb's photo clearly stands out because to its unique concentration on the mid-infrared range and how it effectively exposes the cosmic dust existing within it. Astronomers at NASA have credited the remarkable detail in this image to Webb's unmatched capability, especially given its outstanding 18-segment hexagonal mirror and strategic position in deep space. And as scientists were still working on decoding the mysteries that might be hidden within the phantom galaxy, the James Webb Space Telescope spotted yet another amazing phenomena. This time, deep field photos were collected during its inaugural observation campaign, where Webb revealed massive faraway galaxies that defied our expectations. These galaxies, nearly as large as our own Milky Way, were loaded with ripe red stars dispersed over the galaxy. However, their enormous distance rendered them visible to the telescope only as tiny reddish dots. By analyzing the light released by these galaxies, astronomers decided that they were viewing the cosmos in its infancy, a scant 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. 
Now, the appearance of such early galaxies is not surprising, especially as astronomers anticipated the birth of the first star clusters shortly after the cosmos emerged from its dark ages, a period marked by a dense fog of hydrogen atoms. However, the size and age of the galaxies seen in the web photos have generated a stir among scientists. These discoveries challenge prevailing notions about the appearance and evolution of the early cosmos and defy prior object sightings obtained by the less potent Hubble Space Telescope. Joe Leah, an esteemed professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State, noted that the team had expected to find young and small infant galaxies in the early universe based on prior research conducted with the Hubble and other telescopes. These infant galaxies and newly created things originating from the primordial cosmic soup actively creating their earliest stars and structures. The unexpected emergence of larger, more mature galaxies challenges our preconceived notion ions and opens up interesting new paths for investigation. This stunning image acquired by the JWST illustrates the astonishing process of star formation during the universe's early days. The blazing and dynamic character of this celestial phenomenon has continued to leave scientists and astronomers in amazement at the cosmic wonders that continue to unravel before their very eyes. Like with these stars themselves, the JWST likewise got another magnificent image of a cosmic hourglass surrounding a young star in the Taurus star-forming zone. A huge cloud of gas and dust called L1527 has veiled this magnificent picture from normal telescopes, only visible in infrared light. But Cosmic Hourglass became a fascinating target for the near-infrared camera on web astronomers continue to be perplexed by this discovery, but they consider it as an opportunity for additional investigation. They anticipate researching the Cosmic Hourglass will reveal insights into the mechanisms around the hidden protostar. The observations may also give light on how young stars evolve into adulthood. The Space Telescope Science Institute in Maryland, which operates the JWST, said that this is a great breakthrough for the scientific community. Moreover, the JWST has also lately supplied astronomers with the greatest image of Neptune's rings and moons in 32 years. Previous telescopes have not delivered as much information as the JWST did with its latest image. For the first time since the Voyager 2 probe passed past Neptune on its way out of the solar system in 1989, researchers can view the faint dusty bands of Neptune's ice rings. Heidi Hamill, a planetary scientist at the Association of Universities for Research and Astronomy, shared her delight over seeing these features in infrared for the first time. What shocked scientists even more was the finding of extra rings around Neptune that had never been seen before. Even Voyager 2's close-up flyby to the planet didn't discover these faint dust rings. The JWST image showed previously unknown rings, enhancing our understanding of Neptune's ring system. In contrast to the distinctive blue color associated with Neptune, the image acquired by the JWST didn't exhibit this hue. The absence of blue was purposeful, as the JWST viewed Neptune in near-infrared light. Methane found in Neptune's atmosphere absorbs light substantially at these wavelengths, causing the planet to seem fairly black to the JWST, save for the parts covered by dazzling high-altitude clouds. The James Webb Telescope has truly amazed us with its mind-blowing photos, and experts are convinced that this great telescope holds the potential to find a variety of new and intriguing discoveries in the vast expanse of space. As we journey further into the cosmos, the James Webb Telescope promises to uncover mysteries that have escaped us for decades, opening doors to realms of knowledge that have stayed hidden until now. Thanks for watching another episode of Worldview Theory. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality stuff.